Hi, my name's Steve and welcome to the Seaside Allotment channel. And I'm down with the allotment today because I'm watering nematodes in. And uh, it's a bit early for that really, uh, this, these are slug nematodes. But um, it's worth it for me because I've got a lot of undercover space and so the soil's a little bit warmer than it would be ordinarily. Uh, and it's definitely warm enough for the nematodes right now. Um, and you can tell almost, you know, because you can see the slug activity. So there's quite a lot of slug activity. Um, it's a good time to nip it in the bud. Uh, we'll do one uh, application now, which is the, the middle of March. And then we'll do another one um, about the beginning of May time, something like that, uh, which I guess is just six weeks after. Uh, this application and then that's it that we won't do any more until September time when we're trying to reduce the slug population over winter um, and we only do that on my plot uh, my plot and the back garden because that's where we grow the leafy greens and it's really the leafy greens and the carrots actually um, that the slugs are just a real uh, pain with so uh, yeah we try to keep the, them under control that way on the other beds, we tr we basically just try and keep the hygiene levels high, uh, so we you know we just try and keep bare compost um, with no weeds, no leaves, or all that sort of thing, no bits of wood on the floor, all those sorts of things, uh, just to keep you know and that generally is enough really to keep the sort of population under control, so long as the ground is um, is fairly clean of rotting debris, then uh, you know slugs aren't too much of a problem. Um, so also while I'm down here I'm going to clear one of the salad beds that we've had over winter. Uh, we've lost about two-thirds of the plants. It's the worst salad bed so I've swapped my plan around a little bit. I'm always doing this, I'm always changing my plans to reflect what I discover. As the gardening year unfolds and in this case I've got a bed it's not really that productive as I said because you know salads are, are declining and I want to get red ruble kale in and I really like red ruble kale I've got some outside I'll show you it in a minute um, but I got these seeds Jerry sent me them from grow seed and um, they're really good I really like red ruble it's a fantastic uh, salad kale but it's also really good in the smoothie mixes and we've got a bed out there that's just been they must have provided I don't know 50 meals probably something like that of smoothies over winter we don't obviously do just put red ruble in the smoothie mix but it's contributed to those smoothie mixes so it's been amazing um, and yeah so what else am I doing obviously as part of watering in the nematodes all the beds have got a good water and that's important because we're coming up to some nice weather now um, and I'm also doing lots of repairs to the covers. In fact, it's the little, the props that I've got that uh, hold the um, low tunnels and the coal frames open in sunny weather. So right now, it's I don't trust the weather to take the coal frame tops and the low tunnel tops off. There's still too many frosts, it's st still too windy, you can still have hailstorms um, and all that. So. Yeah, although it's nice weather right now, I don't trust it. I generally take all the tops off, or most of the tops off, kind of middle of April, so in about a month's time. But I like to have them open at this time. Uh, so that, that's important. It's a loads of ventilation, loads of sunlight getting in, um, but still shelter from the breeze uh, and shelter from any hailstorms or really heavy rain that might damage uh, young seedlings. Well, actually any of the mature plants as well and that is about it for the polytunnel today so not very sorry not the poly, for the uh, allotment today not very much going on um, but I am going to take home a tray of lettuces and get those planted a tray of spring onions and get those planted um, and yeah well, I'll show you that later so uh, I did want to plant out some of our little kale plants but I just tried to take them out of the modules and they're just not quite binding all the soil together yet. So they've still got another couple of weeks basically of growth in here uh, before they go out. I'm always itching to get stuff off this grow bench um, and into the ground where it doesn't need as much attention. And everything seems to grow so much better in the ground uh, once it's out of the module trays. And that might be because I use kind of a quite a low nutrient compost or it might just be that the ground is where plants want to be. Anyway, I'm going to get on with this red ruble and I'll show you what I'm up to. 
So here's the salad bed, some lovely lettuces, so I'm going to pick all these and these will make up uh, most of our salads for the next three or four days. Um, this bed, as you can see, the compost is very rough. It's a little bit too rough to sow these tiny seeds in. Um, they are um, kale seed, so you can imagine they're really small. Uh, so I will just put down a little bit of uh, multi-purpose compost uh, that I'll sow these seeds into. Basically the same as I did with the carrots uh, last week. So there's the salad mixes that I made up for those. I just added some lovely mizuno and some red lettuces and other bits and pieces for variety. Picked a few radish, some little baby carrots, some spring onions. That'll make a nice salad. I'm always just slightly nervous about clearing uh, salad beds at this time of year because obviously we're just uh, a lot of salads are coming to the end and we'll be sort of shooting off to seed soon or just dying on me but I've got just planted these uh, a couple of weeks ago and they're coming on really beautifully and uh, I've got a nice bed doing pretty well there as well little bed it's looking pretty good too on that bed and this is actually the bed next to the one that I'm just clearing so uh, why so many of these survived and so few of those survived I don't really know so I've cleared the bed and I've taken all the roots of the well twisted out the roots of the salads that were in here before the lettuces that were in here before and I've broken up most of the big lumps and I've had a good rummage around because I often find that in these beds there's chafer grubs or cutworms and things like that and I did find a few pu pupa um, of moths and things in here as well so I've taken those out I didn't actually find any grubs which is uh, really good news and then I've just put in one and a half handfuls of chicken manure composted with seaweed and they need a lot of food these um, these red ruble kale because you know we just harvest so much off a bed like this so I put about half an inch not very much at all of uh, multi-purpose compost down as I said just to uh, make the seed bed a little bit finer and I made these really nice broad drills and I'll plant probably uh, one of these red ruble kale maybe every half an inch or something and then I'll thin them out later and here's the red ruble kale looking at its absolute worst at this time of year but still pretty good and uh, the new stuff will um, be a deep burgundy with really glossy leaves it's really a treat for the eyes just starting to harden this onion bed off so I'm leaving it quite away open because it's absolutely full of these overwintered onions and I want to take this cover off in two or three days and I'm going to move it over to this bed here and this is where the early beans are going to go um, and they're doing nicely at home and I just want to warm the soil up so I'll put this on um, for a couple of weeks before I plant them so basically the 1st of April I guess something like that next thing to be planted on the allotment are these really nice uh, bolt hardy beetroot and they're only probably a week away now uh, but they're going into a bed that's currently occupied with some uh, salads so I don't actually want to um, put those out until I've harvested those salads they are a tiny bit small before I leave the allotment I'll just show you the potatoes which are suffering a bit at the moment in the heat in here so I've given them a good water but the problem is that it's freezing at night and it's really warm during the day so it means popping down to the allotment to open up for them um, or putting them under fleece and just hoping that the fleece is enough to uh, keep the frost off so I think that's what I'll do I'll leave the polytunnel doors open and I will uh, fleece these up back home now hope you like that quick video and I'll see you soon